Here we are at WT's in Cambridge. And we're going to give you a little demonstration on the difference between your standard club table and your tournament star table. I'll be doing a demonstration on the club table. And I'll be doing the demonstration on the star table. One of the first things to notice is the cloth. You know, on, on a star table, we use super fine number 10 cloths, very reactive, very fast, very easy to move the balls around the table. And on a club table, it could be, you know, a very thick, heavy, durable cloth. Obviously, you don't want to be changing them too often. The other big difference is the balls on a club table. It could be some balls from one set, some from another, all different weights, sometimes different colours. Whereas on the star tables, we use the 1Gs, which that means every single ball weighs within one gram of each other. So everything is absolutely precise and, and bang on target. So the first demonstration we're going to do is about the size of the pockets. We hear a lot of stories about how big the professional table pockets are. Uh, I can assure you they're not as big as your standard club table. So this will be the first example. A shot like this on a professional table, you'd really, really be wondering whether you would take it on or not. Whereas on a club table, you wouldn't hesitate. You just get down and knock it in. The club table is obviously uh, bigger pockets, so you have more room for error, but also um, because of the, you're playing on a thicker cloth so the nap is stronger. So what will happen a lot of the time is that the red will, even if it hits slightly up the cushion, will still like hug along the cushion and actually sort of still go in where on the professional tables uh, we don't have much nap on the cloth so the ball will not sort of like generally pull in one direction so you have to be a lot more accurate with that. With the reds the way that they are, uh, I probably wouldn't take this on in tournament. Uh, it would be a shot where I'd probably look to play safe. I've hit this, I have hit it absolutely perfect. <laughs> but that's what you have to do, you have to hit it perfect. And it's the pace that I played it at as well. You could never go for this on a professional table and play to like come up for the blue or anything like that. It's just never gonna go in. You got no chance. Another, another major difference on a club table as opposed to a, a tournament table is the middle pockets. One, the pockets are much smaller on a tournament table. There's far less you can sort of see of the pocket as you're playing these difficult pinks in the middle. And the other major difference is the cloth, the nap of the cloth. Hardly any nap on our, on our cloths we use, whereas there's lots of nap on these, which means with the nap of the cloth, the ball's gonna gradually turn towards the pocket. So it makes the, the parting angle so much bigger. We can aim into a much larger area, knowing that the nap of the cloth's gonna help the pink reach the pocket. Just to demonstrate the nap of the cloth, I'm going to aim not to the middle of the pocket, I'm going to aim to this far jaw and the nap of the cloth will just naturally turn the cue ball into the middle of the pocket. Because the nap goes from the bulk end to the black end, so everything has a tendency to, to naturally just come this way slightly anyway. Um, so on a club table you would aim slightly for the far jaw and then the pink would come in, whereas on the star table you need to aim pretty much dead straight in the middle. So as you'll be able to see from the other angle there, that, that held, it, held its line absolutely perfectly. So here's another example of a shot on a club table. In a match situation, I'd probably be very inclined just to drop this red in, down the cushion, give the pocket every single chance, leave myself a difficult black. Whereas on a standard club table, I can probably just hit this with lots of power, screw back out to the middle of the table. Yeah, so that's why the professionals wouldn't really play that kind of shot. Uh, what you do is you just drop it in and leave like a tough black. You gotta give the pocket every chance. If you play anything at pace on these kinds of tables, um, down the cushion where you're trying to really force an angle, you're really asking for trouble. So um, that's why you'd probably never see a pro play a shot like that down the cushion especially. So another real popular shot now on the, on the tour we see a lot is when a player lands high on the blue and goes into the pink and spreads the reds far and wide. This, on this occasion, the tournament table it's far easier to play this shot because the cloths are more reactive when you hit the main bunch the ball will spread really nicely whereas on here they might not move quite so much with the thickness and the heaviness of the cloth
So you can see only the main bunch has still sort of stayed together, whereas you watch on the TV, the balls seem to all really come away and the cue ball also accelerates away from the pack with the backspin on this table, very non-reactive and nothing really happened. I'd say probably, apart from the pocket size, the biggest difference between a star table and, and a club table, where the cloth is so reactive that we play on that you need you know, far less shots going into the pack to really get the balls open into like a, a frame winning position. Um, and a shot that probably shows that the most is the blue going into the pack where I'll uh, pot the blue um, with a bit of bottom left hand side, um, go into the pink and then um, depending on how full I hit the pink, the white might stay pretty central or if anything you want to catch the pink uh, on the left hand side as we see it, then the white will come across off the cushion and then come back out. The left hand side will, will straighten the cue ball up once it hits the cushion, come back out into that kind of central position to hopefully leave yourself you know, a lot of options. And that's exactly what you want to see. Screw on and off the cushion, come back centrally. And uh, as long as nothing's blocking. No, we're perfect. Got a couple of reds there. That's frame over for sure. Another common situation, you snookered behind a ball color. A very simple routine, one cushion escape into the pack. I'm going to show you the difference between a club table and a star table in terms of how the cushions react and how they slide when the cue ball hits the cushion. So I'm going to hit this cushion where I would hit in a normal tournament situation. And there you can see, missed the pack by quite some distance. So this time, for me to make the adjustment on this table, I'm going to hit the same position, but with lots and lots of left-hand side to widen the angle. I'll aim just before the middle pocket, uh, no, no side on the cue ball, and it should uh, nestle into the pack. Um, I think on a club table, you probably want to play with like a lot of uh, left-hand side from my point of view um, to really sort of like narrow the angle down. If it was on a club table, probably be missing the other side of the pink, but this should uh, nestle into the reds. So yeah, it was on target, a bit short, but <laughs> yeah, foul and a miss. Um, yeah, a bit short, but um, as you can see, like there, there, was, there was plenty of, um, of angle there to, to hit the reds.